S22 Ultra, a new plan by Samsung. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. It is not a secret that Samsung was recently caught up in the game optimization service controversy after the launch of the Galaxy S22 series. Due to the greater thermals of the Exynos 2200 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the business throttled game performance for more steady performance and now, the company says that it wants to make processors that are tailor-made for Galaxy smartphones. According to reports coming out of South Korea, when employees asked about the GOES issue, Samsung Electronics President TM Rowe has told the company's employees that it will make applications application processing chipsets that will be tailored to the needs of Galaxy smartphones and tablets. But unfortunately, he hasn't revealed what processor would it be and what the development timeline is. You might think that the company already makes such processors under the Exynos branding. However, Samsung's system LSI ARM makes those chips and it designs them in such a way that any smartphone maker can use them in their smartphones. So, they have to make sure that Exynos processors work with various permutations and combinations of hardware and software. If we think about what TM Rho meant by his statement, Samsung might start developing processors that are tailor-made for Galaxy smartphones, and since the company would know which display, cameras, software, battery, and connectivity features it would equip a particular Galaxy phone with, it will make a chipset that specifically offers those features and is optimized to the fullest, thereby offering optimized performance and battery life. Going by Samsung's recent track record, it's too early to say anything right now. A recent report has also claimed that the company would use MediaTek chipsets in the Galaxy S22 FE and the Galaxy S23 series in Asian markets. So, in that case, as I see it, we might be at least two years away from any tailor-made Samsung chipset. In addition to that, I have something else to share about the Z Fold 4 as well. As revealed by Mukul Sharma, Samsung has now begun serial production for the Galaxy Z Fold 4's S Pen across several countries in Europe and Asia. That, of course, only confirms that the Z Fold 4 will offer S Pen support, which isn't surprising, as the Z Fold 3 already has S Pen support. The Fold 4 has been tipped to feature an S Pen slot, with Samsung supposedly geared to design a new S Pen thinner than the S Pen Fold edition that launched launched as an accessory for the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and if those rumors are anything to go by, that new S Pen is what has just gone into production. According to other rumors, Fold 4 will also sport a new hinge mechanism, a new Super UTG, and will borrow most of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra's cameras. In addition to that, a slightly larger battery has also been tipped. As we are already aware, the device is scheduled to be launched in August and there are a few more months to go. So, let's give it some time and see what Samsung has in the room for us this time. That's it for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.